All right, guys, now we're moving on to part eight of our Star Wars Battlefront playthrough. Uh, this time we're going to be playing as another famous smuggler. Should be pretty fun. Let's do this. All right. I kind of want to see that cannon in the front of the Corvus fire. An abandoned Imperial factory on Sullust. Admiral Versio plans to recover a weapons cache from inside. We are going to steal it first. I've called in some help to guarantee we do. Shriv, you'll be on the ground with General Calrissian. Secure those weapons and call us for what escort. What kind of weapons are they? No matter what, they can't fall into my father's hands. All right, we're going. Uh, we're going to Solist. Very nasty place. Uh, if you guys read Twilight Company, there's there's a pretty battle, pretty big battle here, where like uh, a rebel company. You have a bad feeling about this. I'd be worried if you didn't. <laughs> Admiral Versio's people aren't supposed to be here now. We should call Aiden for extraction. Relax. It's one strike team. We'll be fine. And if it's not? <laughs> that's, that's not reassuring, Lando. That's a sidearm. That's not, like, that's not even a rifle. Turbo lasers. This place is pretty anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so there's a Republic company called Twilight Company, and they did kind of a last stand on Solus, on top of a volcano. It was a really crazy battle. Several day siege. They ended up igniting the volcano. Killed a lot of Imperials. That would explain why the Empire is still here. Okay. That was a good one. But yeah, this is a pretty nasty planet, if you could tell. There's a lot of mining that goes on. I believe the inhabitants mostly live uh, a lot of them live underground because the air is just more controllable down there. I believe that's, or maybe that's another planet actually, I don't know. Alright. Stay quiet. So, basically Lando, I think, right now is still in exile. He's uh, lost control of Bespin to the Empire, I believe. Doesn't mean he's not busy, though. He, he's got all sorts of little ventures on the side. I think he's trying to... Um, I remember one operation he was doing is he's trying to mine a asteroid or a planet. I think it's a planet that's really close to a star. It's so close that he had to build these enormous shield chips. Uh, if you guys ever saw the movie Sunshine, it, it's kind of like that. It's just a small ship with a giant solar shield that allows him to fly really close to the sun. And um, so, yeah, they're mining this planet with a giant moving station. Like, think think an at, -AT walker, but like 50 times its size. And it's constantly moving and staying in the dark side of the planet because if it's on the other side of the planet, it would just melt. And, yeah, that's one of his really high-risk mining operations. Uh, that he's carrying out. I don't remember which book that was in, but um, if you guys know, please do comment below. You guys have been doing a pretty good job of filling in my gaps uh, of knowledge. All right, well, let's keep going. Explosion. Woo. Okay, that's that. Oh, a sharp I mean. shot, too. Uh, Pan to multi- Ah, uh, okay. It's kind of like that splinter cell thing. And I'm still a general. Where you can mark a bunch of guys at the same time. And, uh, shoot them all at once. We should- we should probably do that. It's probably very useful at a poker table, you know? <laughs> of course, if you guys don't know what I'm referring to, Lando is the one uh, who lost the Millennium Falcon to Han Solo back in the day. I think it was in a Sabacc game. I'm sure that's going to be a scene in the new Han Solo movie. Look at that. The head's actually not that big. It's like the size of a uh, Suburban Mom's SUV. God, man. You know, I feel a lot less rushed today. I kind of want to just look at all the cool stuff, if you guys don't mind. I feel like yesterday I, I just uploaded way too many videos. I think that was a record for me. I think I did around seven in a day. Uh, great. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? It's 
missed it. We can't get in. If we start the assembly line. It should <laughs> oh be man. Inside. That's that's a terrible yeah. idea. Climb into this cockpit. That's gonna be comfortable. Here we go. <laughs> what the hell, Dur <laughs> Are you seeing this? This facility isn't abandoned. They're in full production. Okay, so we'll steal the weapons and shut down the factory. Easy. Man, Lando is like the most positive individual ever. We figure it out. We always do. Nothing ever goes according to plan when you're around. There. That's the central terminal. We should shut down the factory's power from there. Just need to get past all these stormtroopers. Come on, you and me back in action? Tell me you don't miss this. I absolutely do not miss this. <laughs> this is how it stops. Lucky us. Uh, okay, lots of moving parts. A lot of people to shoot. A lot of people to shoot. Okay, let's get to that central terminal and shut off the power. When I open fire, you know what to do. You know what to do. This kind of reminds me of you, you know, it's just a little bit. Alright. Oh, there's a little ATSTs. Alright. A hoppy bore. Those are the giant, um. Those are the giant aliens from, uh, Jakku, I believe. If you guys remember, like, Finn turns up from the desert. He's all thirsty and he has to, like,. Find some water and he starts drinking out of a trough and there's that gigantic like hippo looking animal. That is a hoppabore. I don't know why I know that. It's probably because I do a Star Wars YouTube channel. That's most likely why I know that. Alright. Cool, Lando's, but why is Lando's scope mounted on the side? Does he have like iron sights as well on that little pistol? All right, let's keep going. Oh, this is the console, right? Let's let's see if we can hit something. No? No, okay. Um... Hey, we're not dead. Nice. Let's get to that terminal and shut this I thought this down. was it, Shrib, no? Shut down the place. Oh yeah, there we go. You know what you're doing. Nope. Right? Of course. Oh, it does it, dude. Unauthorized input detected. Ah, crap. Nice. It looked like a power button to me. Okay, new plan. This place runs on lava, right? Yes. Use Why? the lava. What are you gonna do? Improvise. You just find us a ride out of here. Whatever gets me farthest from you. All right. I think we just need to blow a bunch of stuff up and the lava will eventually leak through the walls. This is why I don't like third person. You always, so you don't know what you're aiming at half the time. Just like Zrib to miss out on all the fun. Let me 
Left hook. Left hook. Really? Oh, I think I just hit a girl. Ah, oh, man, I don't feel good about that. Although she was trying to kill me, so... I guess it's okay. Honestly, women try to kill me all the time. I never, I never punch in the face like that. Is it me or is is the stormtrooper uh, company guarding this place all women? Sounds like that, right? Hmm. Oh, dude. This is like a pretty not cool place to be. You guys think if like Anakin has like a phobia of lava now since he's been burned? I mean, his his lair is on Mustafar, so maybe not, but. How do I mark people? Oh crap. Frog up! Underground. Lando, your cape's getting dirty. I wonder if a cape gives you any advantage in combat. I feel like it doesn't. It's more of a hindrance than anything. Unless it's like, um... So, about your plan? I'm working on it. Well, whatever it is, it would be great if it didn't get us killed. Apparently in the First well, Order, uh, Captain does. Phasma and the red version of her Cardinal, they have what's called armor weave in their cape, so their cape actually s does have a purpose. Maybe it's like, I don't know, flame retardant, or uh, it can stop shrapnel, I have no idea. So maybe Lando has something like that too, but probably not. Knowing Lando, it's probably made uh, out of some kind of exotic textile. You know, it's more for style than anything else. Problem solved. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the hell? Um... Alright, time to go. You're flooding the factory with lava? No, I'm setting it down. With lava. With lava. Where are the weapons? Ike wants them for the Republic. 
I'll apologize later. We can't let the Empire have these weapons. What are these weapons? Can you guys tell me what they are? Oh, they're all running. Save yourself. Go. I don't even know where I'm going. Again. Just keep going this way. I think I should just keep going up. Let's keep going up, Lando. Okay. No, no, this isn't right. Oh my god. I hate those flashbangs, dude. Why why do stormtroopers have so many non-lethal options? That's not the sign of an oppressive regime. They're trying to save their civilians, not kill them. The thing about stormtroopers, you would think that their, uh, you know, helmets would have a very complicated suite of like, you know, things like night vision, infrared vision, an uplink with other stormtroopers, but no, right? Ooh. This is terrible. I do not want to turn into Anakin. It's like legs are melting though, man. Okay. Hmm. That didn't work. Maybe it's this button. <laughs> Lando's like a child. That's I, I got it. He's like a he's like a grown man who thinks like a child. The only thing that keeps him alive is plot armor. Oh, I don't have time for this. Just shoot the thing. What? Oh. <laughs> this is a very Han Solo move right there. Oh my god. Alright. Let's do it. Alright, Lando. Trip, did you find us a ride? New plan. Meet me in the back near the assembly line. Oh my god. I made it. Another enormous risk. Shriv, I could kiss you. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. How am I supposed to get in there? This is actually cool. I, I haven't been in one of these ATSTs yet. Should be fun. Move over so I can drive. This is gonna be fun. He's so positive. Why is so positive? Get us to higher ground. Stop. Uh, what can I do? All right, let's go. Scan anti-vehicle missile grenade launcher. Nice. With pleasure. Oh, this is this is mean. Three. How many weapons are we picking up? Um, zero. We seem to have melted them. Then what's our cargo? One desperate duros and a ridiculous man in a cave. I was very specific about your mission. I. All right. Hi, are you still there? Yeah. There's my support, Iden. What was that? That was the sound of my plan working perfectly. <laughs> oh man. Rockets. Nice. So yeah, I guess whenever you're on Solus, the, the best way to to solve things is flood things with uh with lava. That's what Tyler Company did. That's Actually, now what we're doing. I want it to be a surprise. Use your environment, you know? Oh, man. Do, 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 do. This is how the Ewoks felt, probably. Stormtroopers! I wonder if I can step on these guys. Uh. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Hey, that's mine. That's mine. 
No, that's fine. Alright, good. Let's go. Uh oh, uh oh. What the hell's going on? God damn it, land out. No! Unless this walker can fly, I think we're out of all. How did that happen? Really? Where's the backup? Where's my backup, Biden? Come on. You promised me. If I die here, I'm glad you're not. <laughs> well, thank you, baby. <laughs> uh, See, I, I like Shred. He's saying what we all want to say. For us. <laughs> yeah, we made it. Destroying that factory had a bigger impact than we thought. Admiral Akbar is calling all the mm. public ships to Jakku. The whole Imperial fleet is there, minus the equipment they would have received okay. from Sullust. I expect my father will be there too. But catching him is no longer our priority. This battle could be the end of the war. Let's get in, and we do what we can to help. All right, guys, that's chapter eight. Uh, I didn't expect us to be able to play as Lando. That was kind of a nice surprise. Um, but unfortunately, this game's almost over. I think we have one or two chapters left. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button. I'll try to get that video out uh, before the end of today, probably in the next few hours. Uh, and yeah, thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.